how show it is. We're finished. Well, the day has finally come, Thursday 22nd of August, GCSE results day and yes I am going to be sharing my results, uh, loads of you were asking me um, about if, if I will be sharing my results because loads of you know I was doing my GCSEs and I've decided yes I need to share these because um, I'm happy with them first of all, uh, second of all you know good, good views for YouTube. Uh, Third of all, also, you know, mostly because of the views, we can say. Um, also, you know, something nice for me to watch, um, you know, this is an important part of my life, um, you know, getting results, so something I can remember and something I can share. Before I share my results, if you're new here, guys, subscribe if you're new, um, if you haven't already, uh, you know, go at my socials, um, I I'll make loads of videos, vlogs, um, so if you're new here, you know, do, do, do check me out. Um, Alright, now, I've said everything, um, let's get straight into the results then. Okay, so I'm not going to act like the YouTubers, you know, who uh, pretend to open the, open it the first time. Um, I've already opened it, um, I showed you my first reaction at school, um, however, I cut it forward, I, I didn't, like, do the whole thing because I wanted that moment for myself. Um, you know, I showed you opening my own envelope and having a first glance, um, but I wanted, you know, to think about the results, um, you know, off camera. Now I've come off the camera, you know, I've got loads of messages. First of all, thank you for the messages. Um, I'll, I'll talk about that at the end. Anyways, for the results now. Um, I've got three papers over here and um, they're all for uh, three different examples. We've got OCR, AQA and Pearson. Um, I'm going to start with the OCR. Um, OCR, I only had one subject, guys, um, and that was for drama. Drama is something, you know, I took really seriously. Um, I really wanted to get a, you know, a good grade and um, I'm happy to say I did. Um, so, first of all, I want to say thank you to my teacher, Miss Sidhu. Uh, she's done an amazing job to actually boost my level up, um, you know, practical wise. And uh, I feel like um, I've, I've done my best. For drama, I got a grade 7. Uh, grade 7 is an A. Uh, if you like, you know, switch it over like that, it is an A, so I'm happy with that. I, I'll take that. So that's the first A on the list, guys. Um, you know, I'll ha happily take that because, you know, 7 is a good good grade, I would say that. Uh, yes, I would have wanted an 8 or 9 for drama because that's just one of the subjects that, that I was good at. Um, but Miss Sidhu, I saw her today and she, she said mm, that she knew maybe the test would let me down. Uh, you know, the, the actual uh, theory uh, where we had to write the exam, in the exam we had to write the test. And that may, be of let, may have let me down. Um, but anyway, I'll take that. So I'll put that aside. That's all of OCR done, guys. Drama, I got a 7. That's the first one. Okay, next up, it's AQA. Um, I've got quite a few subjects for this one. Okay. So, the first subject is Combined Science Trilogy. Let me tell you something right now, guys, yeah? My school's been on an adventure with science. You guys don't know the amount of difficulties we have faced with science. Last year, we didn't have a single science teacher the whole year. Maybe the first year, first week of year 10, we had like a science teacher and then he left. Since then, we had supply teachers, we had bloody teachers who don't know anything about science. They just used to keep us in the class, basically. That was a whole year of year 10 wasted, um, which let us, you know, put the pressure up for year 11. Um, so I want to say, you know, thank you to the science teachers. Um, science is a subject that I absolutely hate. Like, I, I, have, I, I, don't, I have a passion, I, I passionately hate the science um, subject. Um, it's just something I just don't, you know, want and I don't like. Um, but with the results I got, I am really happy. I don't know how I got it. I have no idea how I got this because um, I honestly thought I would have just scraped the uh, scraped a pass. But happily, I've taken. Um, you know, you got two GCSEs for science, so I've got a six and a five. Um, I don't know how it works. Which one I got a six and which one I got a five? It just says six and five, guys. Uh, so combined science trilogy, I got a six and a five. 
Okay, next up is Punjabi, my strongest subject, and I am disappointed I didn't get a 9, however I got an 8, um, I'll take that. I'm gutted I didn't get a 9 in anything, you know, I would have been happy if I got that big 9, uh, but it is what it is, you know, that's the mood. Uh, so Punjabi, I got a 7. Okay, next up, English language, this is something, you know, I, I love. Why did I say I love? I don't love it, but something I took seriously and I really wanted to get a good grade in. Um, and, you know, I, I did put a lot of work in. Um, I got a six in English language. Um, you know, I, I can't complain because um, anything six above, you know, I, I'm actually going to take because I'm not the smartest student up there, but, you know, I, I, I'm happy with these grades. Uh, English language is a six. Okay, next is, is English spoken language, yeah? I'm pretty sure this was a speaking exam. Let me tell you something interesting about this, yeah? On the day of the speaking exam, um, we had a camera to record. And um, I bloody... the class didn't have a cameraman, so they made me the cameraman. Uh, I recorded everyone's. What happened was, at the end of the thing, I realised that I didn't do my own one. I just ended up recording everyone's. So I don't know why it says that, or I don't know if I even should be saying this, but... Um, yeah, I got a distinction for English language uh, speaking exam because I uh, put, held a camera for students, I guess. But I'll take it, a distinction. Alright, cool. Next up, English literature. This is something, you know, I, I, I waffled in. I absolutely waffled. Uh, Macbeth and what else was it? Inspector Calls and Poetry, something like that. I'm pretty sure I don't remember. I don't need to remember. Um, yeah, I did that. I waffled my way through this exam and I'm happy to say I got a five. I'm, uh, you know, I'll take that easily. Happy, happy with this one, man. Um, uh, of course, language is more important than literature. Um, and I, I did put more effort in language, which is why I actually got a six. Um, so uh, the English is, you know, I'm happy I've got those done. Um, you know, English, if I failed this, I would have had to retake them next year. So I'm, 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 I'm like buzzing with that. I'm happy that, I'm, you know, I didn't actually fail them. Okay, next up, this is a subject that really pissed me off, actually pissed me off. Um, computer science, I've had loads of struggles with this. Um, you know, through my whole course of computer science, I've just hated it, I've, I've, I've just, I haven't enjoyed it. Um, you know, if, I don't know how to say this. I just didn't like the way it happened, the coursework was let really late and it wasn't the students' fault. Uh, we went through so much in this. Um, but your boy passed, yeah, he got a four. I just scraped a pass there. And uh, honestly, I I'm proud of myself for this because if I failed this, I would have I would have been upset, but like, I would have understood as well. I don't know how I managed to get a four, but yeah, your boy did it, I don't know. Like, this is AQA done. Um, I, just, I just don't want to start with computer science. Um, I, I just, mm, you know one of those subjects which you just regret picking as an option. Um, I really don't understand why I did it. But anyways, I'm not planning on doing computer science in the future anyway. Um, so I'm happy, I, you know, I've, I'm finished with that and I actually passed it. Alright, the last one is Pearson Edexcel. Okay, Pearson Edexcel. This is maths, first of all. Maths um, is uh, one of the subjects, you know, I... I I I say I, I enjoy it, but I'm not the best at it, and um, I'm happy to say I got a six in maths. Um, I'll take it. I was in, you know, all the lessons. Um, I, I've, I've I put a lot of effort in it. I've, I've had the most tuitions for maths, and I want to say thank you to my tuition teacher and my um, you know school teacher for doing this uh, for all the help you've put in because um, you know maths is not an easy subject to get. You know the highest ones. I, I'm not like one of those um, uh, you know bloody talented ones who just gets those grades like that and I, I actually worked hard for this one and uh, it's a six if I got a five I know I would have been upset because I, I put too much work for maths uh, so I'll take a six happily it's a nice little be there okay and the last subject I don't know how it's the highest subject are we so the last subject I had for Pearson Ed Excel um, I don't understand how I done this but um, Oh yeah, I pulled out an uh, A guys. Um, I'm really proud of myself for doing this. Um, you know, my highest grade out uh, of everything. And I, I, I didn't expect it at all. Um, you know, I was expecting to get um, at least, uh, you know, I was expected to get a pass for RE, I'm not going to lie. And uh, you know, to get an A on this, boys, I'm happy. I'll take that. I want to say thank you to Miss Day for this one. Because uh, she, she, the amount of hard work she put, um, you know, she, she was absolutely exhausted by the end of her exams. And um, exactly, I, I'm happy I actually delivered for this one um i don't know I, I i don't understand how i did it so yeah that was my exams now i've said everything let me count how many gcses i've actually um been able to get i've been got one here one two three four five six seven eight 
9, 10. Your boy's got 10 GCSEs, guys. Um, and I'm happy I passed every single one. So, um, you know, it's been a, it's, uh, it's been a great journey and I, I'm happy I've got these 10 uh, GCSEs. Alright, then that's it then. I've said everything I needed to. You guys came for the results. You guys have got them. I'm not the smartest student out here, but I'm a hard worker and I'm, I'm happy I, I delivered, you know. Uh, I had loads of things going on at the time. Um, yes, I could have... Mm, I shouldn't say that. Actually, I worked my hardest, I'm not going to lie, you know, I could have been doing bare stuff, I was busy at the time, and uh, I I'm not going to lie, I did put a lot of time in my work. And overall, um, you know, the lowest grade was a 4, and that's for computer science, I'll take that any day. The rest was good 6s, I've got an 8 there, I've got a 7, um, I've got a Punjabi 8 as well, uh, I'll take these grades, I'm happy with them, you know, I can't be disappointed. And I just want to say to you guys watching right now, um... You know, the, everyone's on a bloody a journey, God has his own plans with you guys, um, so whatever grades you've got, you know, don't be disappointed, don't let these grades actually, you know, define what you're going to do in the future. Um, all I'm going to say is, um, I've been able to get my first first option with the, all of these grades for my uh, school, uh, which I will be talking about in the future in my next videos, um, so I, I'm buzzing. Um, all I want to say is, if you guys haven't got the results you want, um, please don't worry, um, feel free to message me whatever you guys want, um, I'm, I'm always open open for messages, um, and it's not, end, it's not the end of the world if you haven't got the um, grades you want. Yes guys, I'm proud to say um, I've been able to actually get into my first place uh, option, the option I picked first for my school and I'll be telling you guys about that in the future videos um, about my future um, one final thing I want to let you guys off with uh, if you're still watching this video I want to say please don't let these papers define your life because absolutely they don't um, at the end of the day these are just papers with numbers on it and you can't let them define what your future is um, and how you go about life there's so much inspiration out there and you just can't let people um, you know actually define you uh, with with um, uh, just a number on a paper because at the end of the day we are much better than that my house phone is going right now but I'm probably asking about my results I'm gonna carry on with the video okay as I was saying there's so much inspiration out there if you guys think you failed um, and you know weren't able to get the results you have trust me God's got a plan uh, everyone's got their own roots to life and uh, at the end of the day uh, everything will work out um, and that's just a, you know something hopefully God, God, God's got everything in their hands um, I'm just proud I've overcome this, uh, you know, challenge, um, you know, amount of stress we've all gone through, the amount of sleepless nights, um, I've been through loads of sleepless nights, um, the amount of hard work I've put in, and finally, um, it's been able to show my results, so I'm happy, um, you know, don't, don't, let, don't let this get to you, honestly, because there's so much inspiration out there, honestly, let me just name a few, for example, I was researching yesterday to make me feel better, I put into Google, people who have failed their GCSEs and, and education and have made it big, um, let me just name a few, Lord Sugar, um, a very successful person, he got one GCSE and um, look where he is right now. Mark Zuckerberg, um, founder and CEO of Facebook, he uh, dropped out of school and look where he is right now. Bill Gates, the wealthiest person on earth right now, he dropped out of A in A levels and look where he is right now guys, the most wealthiest person on this earth. That's what I'm going to let you guys with, you know, I've said everything I need to, I've done my results, a nice video for me to make and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have slap a like, like and comment down below uh, it's been good making this video you know it's been a great time and it's uh, chapter over now and uh, yeah it's great all right then until next time my name's i missing man you guys are the man's broadcasters i hope you have a lovely day in a bit take it easy goodbye Whoa. I got the soda. Guys, I forgot to say one final thing. I've got a new video coming out very soon. I'm not sure if it will be out today, but it will be out in the next few days, hopefully. Um, it's like a movie, guys. Um, basically, I made a video of my GCSE um, uh, time, the one month period. After every GCSE exam, I came home at the school or wherever I was. I made a video briefly, two, three minutes of how the exam went. It's a GCSE journey. Um, uh, that's what I've called it. And uh, that will be out. It's like a whole movie, guys, uh, for you to watch. It will be entertaining for you guys to watch. And um, just to see how the experience went. Um, it's something I'm going to be saying um, to experience the experience um, of the GCSE journey. And that's uh, something that's gonna, I've been working on quite um, hard. And it will be out in the, um, hopefully today or not today in the next few days that's something for you to do all right i've said everything
Take it easy, guys, in a bit. I got the soda. Alright guys, what's going on? I ended the video a few minutes ago, but um, as I was saying, my friends were going to pull up to my house. One and only Manpeet Saren, guys. You've seen this guy in my videos before. Manpeet, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks, Amra. How are you? I'm not bad. Very good. Um, I'm in a good mood. You know, uh, GCSE results have happened. Yes. Guys, let me tell you, you might be thinking, why am I putting his results on? Because that's what I'm about to do. Because his results are crap. The, oh, you haven't seen my... <laughs> I need to show you that. Okay. This guy, the smartest guy in the year. Fact? Fact. Fact. Alright, let's go through the results and then we'll talk about a bit about, we'll go into detail. Happy? Let's go. Let's read them out. Do you want to? Oh, right, yeah. Um, in history, I got a 7. In maths, I got an 8. In physical education, I got a 6. I got a 7 in RE. And a five in statistics. That's the highest you could get statistics. Yeah, statistics were the highest you could get was five. Yep. I had to do foundation. Uh, combined science, I got a six and a six. I got a five in business, a five in English, language, tra <laughs> language and literature. Language, <laughs> language both and fights, language. and you um, got distinction in spoken language. It says pass. Oh, God! <laughs> Guys! You smashed it. Are you happy with the results? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Okay, guys. So now you've seen two results from two people in this video. We need to leave you with one final thing right now. Before the GCSE started, we had a bet between each other saying whoever has the highest grade for RE, religious education, they would have to do a dare. Explain why, Manfred. Because I thought I could beat him in RE, even though he's all religious and that. Guys, that's the fact. That, that's why we actually did this. So guys, the day has come. What did you get in army? You got a 7. You, I can't lie, you did smash it. I you did, did smash good, it. yeah? I got an 8, yeah? So I put extra effort in army so I don't have to do this day. I've got one final thing to show you guys. What did he have to do? Reveal it, man, for you. Go on! <laughs> We're finished!